I've bought this Neiden uh, bed frame that is uh, sold from IKEA and um, it comes with a instruction manual which is very easy to follow with all the materials that you need to construct a bed frame. So there's only one thing that I really don't like about the design. The headboard to me doesn't look complete. There's a wide open space here as you can see between where the um, foam mattress is going to be and up the top here. It looks like the pillows would have a tendency to fall through there and it just to me doesn't look complete. And what I plan to do is to add a couple of boards across here uh, like this. I'm going to put one approximately here and one approximately here just to give it a little more finished look and to also uh, keep whoever is sleeping in the bed from losing their pillow out the top or uh, you know shifting forward and hitting the wall. And what I have, uh, what I'm going to use for these boards are some boards I found over at Home Depot and hopefully you can see that. They are called Select Pine and they're three quarters inch thick and they're two and a half inches wide and you can buy them in, I found them in six foot lengths and eight foot lengths. Uh, one store had six foot lengths, the other had eight foot lengths. Uh, you can choose based on what works out best for you, what's available if you want to do this. And um, obviously what I'll have to do is saw them to the correct length to go between the, uh, the top post of the bed here across. And so I'll uh, not include every step that I take, but I'm going to try to show you how I do this. Okay, the way that I'm going to do this is to cut the, the boards to fit between these two posts. Now there's a measure and it's 38 and an eighth of an inch. Okay, I've cut my two boards here to the proper length and I've dry fitted them in the bed. They fit uh, in the bed frame and they fit nice and tight. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, starting with a file, I'm going to round off the edges of these boards uh, number one, to protect whoever's sleeping in the bed not to hit their head on a sharp edge if they should hit their head and also to match the uh, construction of the rest of the bed frame which has a routed over edge and you could do this with a router bit but uh, rather than set up for that I'm just going to do it with a file and I'll do it something like this. I'll just take it at about a 45 degree angle to the board and make few passes along the board and then once I've done that on all four edges of each board what I'll do is uh, come back with some sandpaper sand and go over the board it's already pre-sanded or pretty smooth but uh, just to uh, smooth it out okay so now I'm going to mark I've got my boards ready to mount in here I'm going to mark where they actually are placed on the frame and it's nine and a half inches approximately from this point to this and I want to space my two boards uh, evenly in that space so it's nine and a half inches the boards are two and a half inches each so five inches of boards for two boards nine and a half minus uh, five is four and a half so I'm going to have spaces one two three spaces so if I divide that up that's one and a half inch per space between boards. So first of all, I'm going to mark one and a half inches and that will be the bottom edge of my first board. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to mark it as well. I have my two boards sanded and ready to uh, mount into the bed frame. So I've put the first board in and it fits nice and tight, but I've put a couple of, uh, just clamped a couple of little blocks on here underneath the board just to uh, make sure that it doesn't shift as best as I can. 
And what I've decided to use as fasteners are these uh, deck nails, actually, because it has a, a hex type uh, head that I can use to drill. And I don't have to worry, I'm use it in my uh, electric drill here. I don't have to worry about slipping out. Now what you could do is you could go to Ikea and buy some bolts similar to the ones that they used here so that the heads match. But what I'm going to do is drill two holes here, or here, I'm sorry, two holes here into my board and um, run the, and then countersink, use the countersink sink bit to uh, be able to mount these flush to the wood. Drill a pilot hole, which is a, a drilled hole, which is just a little bit smaller than the size of my deck screw so that I don't have the danger of splitting the board when I run the deck screw into it. And I want to countersink, use this countersink bit to enable the head of the, the flat head of the uh, deck screw to set flush with that. So I'm going to drill a little bit here. Doesn't have to be very deep. Now I'm going to change to my driver bit and put the deck screws in. Done. Since I'm since I'm painting, I'm not too worried about the deck screws um, appearance. I'm going to paint over them, so all this is going to match. Uh, if you are finishing it natural, then you know maybe you're okay with the way that looks, or maybe you want to, like I said, buy some screws similar to this with this type of a head from IKEA. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm also going to follow the same procedure, uh, spacing an inch and a half up from this board to mount my uh, second board and then we'll be ready to uh, we'll be finished with the construction. So finished now and um, here's the way the screws look in the ends and let you see it from the front. Here's the new way it looks with the additional boards in there. So I'll show you another picture after I paint it and Maybe one with the mattress in it also. So that's uh, the construction phase of it.